Hi there, my name is Erin and I am the owner of Erin Roshan Designs. Now there are so many different kinds of brushes on the market. How do you know which one is best for your project? Don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm going to give you some great tips on how to choose the best brush for your project. Now before I even start talking about my three tips, let's talk first about brushes and what kind are available for most of your DIY projects. So essentially there's two kinds of brushes. You're either going to use a natural bristle brush, which are these guys right here, and as you can see they're a little coarser, or you're going to be looking at using a synthetic brush. So these guys are just a little bit softer. Now these are both really great brushes, but it's really going to depend on a couple of things, which one you decide to use. So first thing that you want to consider is the kind of paint that you're using. Now you must know there are so many different kinds of paints on the market. There are chalk paints, there are mud paints, there are all-in-one paints, and there's milk paints. To make it a little bit easier, let's break it down by the kind of paint that you're using. So for all-in-one paints, I usually recommend using a synthetic brush. The nice thing about the synthetic brush is that it's really soft, so it's going to leave minimal brush strokes and really leave a smooth finish. I never look at using a natural bristle brush whenever I'm using an all-in-one paint. Because it's much coarser, it's going to leave more brush strokes and texture, and I don't want that for my all-in-one paint. If you're looking at using a chalk paint, then you have the option of both of these brushes. They're going to give you very different results. If you're looking to have a lot of texture and a lot of brush strokes, then you want to make sure that you're using a natural bristle brush. If you want to have a beautiful smooth finish, a little bit more contemporary, then you want to look at using a synthetic brush to get a really great smooth finish. With melt paints, typically you are looking at using a natural bristle brush, but if you love the feel of a synthetic, you can also use that as well. Getting the right size of brush for your project is so important. Nobody wants to be spending their time painting a nine dresser drawer with a one inch brush. It's going to take you forever. So you want to make sure that you have the right size. Typically for most projects, a good two inch brush is the best way to go. And I always usually have a one inch brush on the side to get into the little details if I need to. My very last tip when you are looking at choosing a paintbrush is that it is so important to make sure that you get yourself a good quality paintbrush. Do not use a really cheap paintbrush or an inexpensive one because it will impact the look of your furniture. I really believe that it's important to have the best tools to get the best results when you are looking at doing any DIY projects. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to find out what some of my favorite paintbrushes are to work with, just take a look below in the description and you'll find some of my favorites. Make sure to like this video and subscribe because I'm going to be having a lot more really great content coming at you. Happy painting and see you soon.